What's up guys, welcome back. Sick Jando here, sorry guys. Uh, short video this week, uh, I got sick while I was traveling, but right into the meat of it, and this isn't clickbait, I did actually find an O-Day in Chrome, which is kind of crazy to say, but we're gonna go first into the thing I was talking about last week, and then I'll talk about the O-Day, because it has something to do with this chessboard, and that too, believe it or not. But first things first, the coolest thing ever, I got these chips in the mail, and they're absolutely insane. These are the ESP32C3 uh, ESP seeds, oh my god. God, let me let me grab the back. Okay, so I literally just got a pack of 10 of these things because this chip is so cheap. It is literally a $5 chip that can do anything you need it to do when it comes to microcontrollers. Absolute insanity. And I have two uh, hooked up right here. And these two are actually talking to each other through the ESP Now protocol. So now I have these little tiny chips that I'm going to be able to place into anything. They have such low power consumption. They have a nice little antenna and everything else. And I'll be able to have instant communication between microcontrollers for all the smart devices and all the other stuff uh, in the apartment going. Yeah, cool stuff, cool stuff. I told you last week I was buying these things. So worth it. Uh, we got in the mail. We have some other things coming soon too, chip-wise. Um, there's going to be, I, I don't know if you guys uh, know who this person is, but the guy who made Flex Air, Carl, uh, I bought a bunch of chips from him and I want to use them for this, but that, that's a different different story. Let's get into the sauce of, of what I found today. Uh, and it, it all revolves around this thing right here and a protocol that I bet you a lot of people haven't even had the need to look into, uh, which is the new MIDI protocol that's being uh, produced by Chrome and these other browsers. It's not even in Firefox yet. But let me let me uh, switch some stuff around and I'll be right back. Okay, and this is this thing right here. You'll see if I put this in a specific mode, uh, this is the launch pad and this is the programming mode. If I put it in a specific mode, it lets me get the actual moves out of this into the board. So you'll see I'm playing with a couple of the keys. Uh, and all the moves are streaming back in out of here, which is really cool. And I have all the validation, did a bunch of other work. So if I do a valid move, like a valid chess move like that, clicking these two buttons, it'll come over here, it'll spin over here and go whoop, and then it'll grab this. Sorry, sick, bad explanation. Uh, I've been waiting so long to play with something using the MIDI control. But let's get into now the O-Day. The O-Day is the problem with Google's authentication when it comes to MIDI control. So in theory, the thing Thing I found will let me play MIDI, send and receive MIDI on any uh, any like computer that has one of these plugged in that just visits a website, which is kind of dangerous. So what's supposed to happen when you join one of these sites, and this is the normal interaction, you get a little thing that says, hey, would you like to let people use MIDI? But I found a way uh, in the view app that I'm building just by like just by calling the the MIDI function and stuff. I have to scroll through way too much code to even find this. By calling the request MIDI function and kind of just throwing away the result with it, I'm able to grab this. And I checked to make sure and I talked to some of my, my other friends in cyber that it wasn't just like a mistake that it, this is working, but you can access MIDI without asking anything of the other person, which is kind of dangerous at the end of the day, but does it let us make cool stuff? I don't know, take your pick. We can even do like a night move or something. But I absolutely love this interface with playing the board so much better than, than waiting for scanning or waiting for something else. But in the near future, hopefully we're gonna have that Flex AR thing, and the idea is to put one of the Flex AR stickers under each one of the pieces, not only for recentering, but also for uh, checking and maybe moving pieces. I don't know, but short, short day, got a bunch of lines of code, a bunch of other stuff is going on in the background. These things are absolute insanity that for $5 now we can have a full microcontroller that's this good. Um, so that, that's about it for today. Yeah, I found, found an O-Day. Uh, we bought a bunch of seeds, so I bought a pack of seeds, kind of funny. That's how they should sell it if they don't already. But I uh, bought a pack of seeds and now we have little, little seeds to control everything. Uh, but development, everything's going pretty smooth. Everything's going good. I'm just kind of sick right now, but but no, no stopping. Video every weekend, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, and I want to say thank you guys as always, but I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye guys.